The key here is that I live aware of who I am. I live aware of what I know. And most importantly, I remind myself of what's true. I remind myself of what God says about me. I remind myself of what I know to be true about my family, my calling, my God, my own self. I tell myself those things daily. Those are the things that I think about, that I chew on, that I spend time meditating on. Philippians 4.8 puts it this way. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. If there's one thing that I want to leave you with, it's this. What I know is greater than what I feel. What I know to be true about God, about myself, is greater than the feelings that I might hold. As dark as you might feel like your present is, understand this, that God is not surprised, shocked, discouraged, or upset with you. Just the opposite. He is for you, He is with you more than you could ever possibly understand. Isaiah 41.10 says this, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That is God's promise to you. Proverbs 18.10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. Please understand, you might not be strong enough to beat this by yourself. I wasn't. Few are. But God's strength is infinite. His love for you, unending, unmatched. In just a minute, I want to take time to share around communion together and receive that. But healing is never something that you earn. It is never something that you take. It is something that you receive. And so as we worship together one more time, my prayer for you is that you would understand this isn't about you or your goodness or your ability to dig yourself out of a hole. This is about your ability to see God for who He is in a new way and understand that He's got you in His hand working for your good at all times.